Hello, everyone. It's me, Will. I'm here for you and for me, mostly me, because today I'm joined by my good friend, Ian Gibson. Hello, hello, hello. He's here, and soon I'll be joined by, hopefully, one of my brothers. You don't love him as much as you love one of them, but it's Alexander, and he'll be here shortly uh, to join me in, drumroll please, SnowRunner. Now, if you've watched <laughs> any amount of our content, you will know that my brothers and I like to play MudRunner, the previous game in this series, uh, and this uh, freezes for about 30 seconds when you alt-tab out of it and click back in, so we just got to wait for that, folks. But this game, um, um, it's while good. While we're waiting, could I perhaps perchance see your screen, buddy? Yes. Oh, and now I have to re-alt-tab out of that. It's and, okay. Uh, it's my fault. I'm having some tech issues. That's why you guys are having to see his ugly mug and not my beautiful oh. face. But it's okay. Uh, can you see? Yes. Thanks, baby boy. Um, so this game pretty much improves everything from Mudrunner. Mudrunner was really... As far as I could tell, never really had quests or anything. You were literally just getting logs and bringing them one place to the other and unlocking vehicles. And this game actually has, like, contracts and unlocks, and you discover things on the map, and you find, like, uh, half-sunken cars that you can pull out and bring to your garage. Um, which is pretty good. I gotta turn this game up because it is very quiet. I gotta figure out my whole audio situation in, uh, my computer. Um, so you've got things like the handbrake. I can turn my um, all-wheel drive on. I can switch to low gear, neutral, reverse, or I can keep it on auto. This is my pickup truck. Is this what you start with? Yeah, this is what you start with. And first thing you do is you have to build, get supplies and build this bridge over here. And then it... Mm -hmm unlocks this part of the map and then you unlock the garage and then you go to alaska which is one of the other maps uh so i came back next here to michigan to... yep right next Got to it. michigan uh so i came back to this map to do a job and this truck right here has the trailer but i'm stuck so i was gonna bring my pickup truck try and uh pull it out you have a winch on there yeah so, I'm going to drive over there. Um, yeah, I haven't really figured out everything in this game yet. Uh, they kind of just toss you in it. It does have a lot of tutorial windows that I refuse to read. So, that's just on me. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, that's some good drifting. But, the game just feels good. They did a lot of good improvements. Uh, like, the winch now, it auto-winches to like the closest thing rather than you have to manually select it. Um, just good. It's got some good music, baby boy. Yeah, I just like, I don't know, there's something fun about these games. Um, and of course I get stuck on one of these big rocks. Oh, but I'm good. Oh, come on. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, no. Uh, come on. <laughs> not in front so of my you, friends. You don't have to show me now, but when you pull your winch, are you like... Can you select other objects to attach it to, and then you kind of winch yourself out? Yeah, so if I hit Y, it'll kind of, like, auto-winch to oh, the closest yes. thing. But nice. if I go That's to... Good. If I go to... D-pad on this controller sucks. If I do this auto-winch, I can select mm -hmm. a winch point on my truck, as well as a winch yeah. point um, to connect to. On somebody else's truck, yeah. So, yeah, see, I can choose there, choose there. Basically showing my sphere. Ooh, you may have to. I mean, we'll see how it goes, but you may have to unhitch the trailer and, and winch the truck and the trailer separately. Yeah. Okay, so change truck. Okay. Oh. You're stuck? I oh, I guess the trailer is stuck. Yeah. You know what? It's been... Oh, it... I was stuck, and then I stopped playing, and then I just came back. Uh -huh. So I wonder if it just... I was really stuck. 
I wonder if it just respawned and popped me out. Um, Ooh, yeah, either that or maybe maybe dynamic weather and you running around. No, I probably not. That would be really cool though if it did that. Oh wait, no, I'm getting stuck again. Okay. So I winched to there. So what I want to know is, can I change trucks and maybe? Yeah, and then pull. Oh. So the thing is, oh. I can't I can't winch. I can't winch the big truck to the little one, switch back to the little one, and have the winch still be there. I can only control the winch from the car I'm currently in. If that makes sense. Y yeah, that kind of makes sense. But in multiplayer, we can we can switch it up, which is winch nice. each other. Yeah. Um, what is this camera? The first game's camera was awful. This game's camera is much better. The first games had like this weird like thing it did that I never understood why they did it that way. Okay, the farm's right here. Farm's got a oh. super muddy road. Come on, you got this. I believe in you. It should probably be in low, right? So yeah, this game's just about trucking. Trucking. And uh, delivering supplies. There's a lot more supplies in this game. Uh, it's pretty great. I gotta see if that might be Alexander. Or actually, no, I think that was the We Are Live. Trucking. Trucking. Uh, okay, let me switch back to auto. Here we go. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Um, Alexander will be here in a second. I think we're gonna switch over and do some co op stuff. While Ian uh, watches, um, but until then, uh, Ian, you got anything you want to chat about? Um, so today, I bought. Yeah, Zach, Zach's pointed out the stream is doing the freeze every five seconds thing. Oh, gotcha. Let me. What's adjust. your OBS showing? OBS is showing fine. No dropped frames or anything. No, it's freaking out now because I just alt tabbed out of that game. Oh yeah, yeah. But um, what's your? Do we? How do we usually fix this with your bit rate? Yeah, I just changed my bit rate, and it literally. It's so weird it. because I've had issues with. Maybe it's restream. I don't know. Um. Anyways, guess what game I bought today and started playing. Um, I, I actually know what game, so I I can't guess. Okay, it's a German game. It's called. Ice, ice, und Kreit <laughs> Uri Gains. Ice, That's ice, con. <laughs> okay. Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, how are you enjoying it? Um, you know, it's not too bad. I so, Okay, so here's the reason why. I played maybe three hours of the first Assassin's Creed game when it first came out. I saw somebody play about an hour of the Assassin's Creed 2, and then I haven't touched the series since then. Gotcha. Wasn't a huge fan, um, but seeing a lot of people talk about how good Origins is, and with the Hala being announced, and for some reason I'm finding that appealing, and then there's like a bunch of people talking about Origins and Odyssey, I was like, you know what? Let me play some Origins if I can find it cheap. And I did. I found a digital code on um, Amazon for 15 bucks for the Xbox. So I just bought it. And I've been playing it. It's not too bad. It's definitely an Ubisoft game. They have definitely combined their IPs into a single uniform thing because there are outposts with alarms and everything. But um, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to... You want to kill Parsec? Yeah. Maybe I can kill it. I killed Parsec. You killed Parsec. Okay. Maybe that's what's doing it? Is that what you're thinking? <sighs> yeah, it could be network. But I would expect to see dropped frames. So... Yeah, I have dropped frames now, but I can't tell if that's from the game. Because the, they're what? not... It does look better now. It's not moving at all anymore, dropped frames. I, I think that may have fixed it. 
I think that fixed it. Okay, so apparently Parsec is bad. No, it's not Parsec. I, I, I think it may be... I don't know, because we've done Parsec plenty. I think it may be your internet. Yeah, but I don't think it's my internet, because I'm not using any more normally. You want to run a speed test real quick? Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I would expect the stream just to mess with the upload rate, but not the download. But wouldn't my OBS reflect that? It should be. As X pointed out, it could be your CPU. No, my CPU is at 17%. Uh, speed test 117. Up. I mean, down. <laughs> no. Oh, what's your up, though? My up is... Now three. Three point seven four. You know what? I think that's the issue. Because when you think about it, when you're doing parsec and streaming, you're you're upping both. Yeah, but that still doesn't explain why it happens to you. No no. Mine mine issue is different from yours. Oh, I thought right? your issue was the freezing every five seconds. No, that's your issue. I think my issue is that I get some games that are stuttery, but the, where the gameplay itself is stuttery. But this is the entire stream is freezing for a second, but not audio. Gotcha. So I think it, I think it may be your upload. Cool. All I know right. that was Let's definitely it with Skype because I know Skype uses a butt ton. Yeah. So maybe. That's why OBS Ninja is not an issue, because it's download. Yeah. So that was... And I know you're wired, right? You're wired to your desktop. Yeah. Um, how do I change track? It's okay. I'll watch from the stream. Oh, I did not want to do um, that. But anyways, yeah, I've been playing Origins. It's... Man, they really, do. I was so surprised. They they really do. They have outposts with people who ring the alarm and they have like a spotting mode where you tag enemies and then take them out. It's, there's, there's like, a, and there's like outposts. I mean, there's like towers, like fast travel towers where you yeah. unlock fast travel, but you also, I don't think it unlocks the map. Maybe it does unlock the map. I'm just not far enough, but it like does the whole like spin around and show you everything in the area yeah. type thing. I don't think it does. And ah. it's, it's like, it's, 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 it's honestly kind of depressing. It's like, Hey, I understand Far Cry introduced some things, but that doesn't mean you have to put it in every single IP you're putting out from now on, you know? Right. But Assassin's Creed has always had the tall thing you climb and reveal stuff. Before, Far yeah, Cry. maybe you're right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, but the outposts, the outposts are like, that's yeah, a copy out. I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing. It's just kind of worrisome that it's like, I think it's always better to keep your IP separate rather than to try and uh, homo homography, homology, homology. I'm gonna look that up. Homogenize. Not streaming. Yeah, homogenize them. Um, yeah, I, I played about, I want to say 15 hours of Origins. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I like, I enjoyed it. I think I just fell off of it because, like, I, I didn't necessarily like all, like, the loot stuff. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of okay with it because it's driving me forward. I think I'm just in the mood for one of those games right now. Where I'm like, I think what helped also was I saw a post the other day about somebody who was talking about how in Origins, they they were like, yeah, you start out pretty weak, but by the end of the game, you can one shot any enemy because you're so overpowered and how that felt so good to them. Like they like they they put in the time to level up, get good gear, pick the right abilities, and then they were able to just stroll into enemy camps and just blast everybody. Oh, and I was like, cool. that sounds awesome. I want to do that. So I think I'm okay with it. And the combat the combat feels good so far. It's it's definitely it's definitely punishing in a way where it's like, no, you can't if you hop into the middle of a fight with three people, especially a low level, you're you gotta run. You know, you're not gonna survive. Which is good. Because the game presents it as like an action game, but then you actually try and go in there as action and it's like, no no no, you actually gotta understand this combat before you do a two V one or a three V one. 
No, that's not what I wanted. So, so what are you uh, trying to do? Don't you have to put it in the box? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to... Come on, recover, yes. I wanted to go to Alaska. Oh. I was stuck in that mud. Move to garage, that's how you... No, move to garage. There we go. Um, cause it, 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 it tutorialized me to Alaska and then I went back to Michigan. So I wonder if there's another thing I'm supposed to, um, Oh yeah, here. there is. I did hear there's like the last part of the tutorial is they just, they like help you get good and then you can play the game. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Uh, what about you? You've been playing anything other than, uh, Snowdorana? Um, I... I, where's my truck? Traveled with snow, snow darana. Um, I played. I've been playing the long dark, which uh, yeah, mm -hmm. is pretty good. I don't and understand then, what that game is. Could you could you describe it to me? It is a survival game where you crash into the mountains. And you have to use things around you like twigs and newspaper and cans to survive. Except is it like first person or is it like top down? It's first person. And it's not like crazy like Minecraft or Rust or stuff like that. Um, so this has a actual story mode that you go through. So like your, your like ex-wife needs you to fly her to this Ugh. random place. And then the plane crashes, oh. and now you're searching for her. So I, I did the first two episodes. I'm on the third. But the Got problem it. is okay. the so fourth. You're a cuck. Yeah. The fourth and fifth episode aren't out yet. Um, so I kind of like stalled. I was like, well, I'm not going to get the satisfaction of finishing this. Um, so what's the point? But I'll probably finish it. Um, just because. So you're edging. Got it. Yeah, I'm edging on it. Um,. And I've also been playing the Sherlock Holmes game, The Devil's Daughter, which... Is that the one that's awful? I It's not awful. It's... It, like, I started playing it, and I was like, man, this game sucks. This game has terrible animations, terrible crap. Like, it's so weird and stupid, mm -hmm. but I can't stop playing it. I'm on, like, the third case... And it, like, somehow got better just because, like, all the stupid things in it are kind of okay. And you get to, like, solve these yeah. mysteries and do these, like, you end up getting, like, this whole deduction board where you, like, have to deduce all the clues together and, like, figure out. And the oh, first one is kind of simple, but the second case I just did had three different people who could be the killer. And you had to, like, figure out what was plausible, what wasn't. Um, I heard the first game, which is Crime and Punishment, is better, and this is the second game. It's on Game Pass, or it was free with gold. I can't remember which. That's the main reason I'm playing it. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I started it, and I really hated it. <laughs> like, it was just not fun or good, and now I can't mm -hmm. stop playing it, so. There we go. Um... um. You ever heard of the board game uh, Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective? No. Um, so I've played, I, I have it, I've played a couple cases. It basically comes with like, I think it's like maybe 10 cases. Each case takes like two to three hours. So it's, it's not quite a legacy game, but like you sit down, you pick a case that you haven't done yet and you play it. Gotcha. And um, it's actually really cool because the way it works is you get a map of London and you get a map of London and every every building has a number on it and then you and it has street names etc you also get a phone book which is like hey this person lives here etc etc and then you also get um newspapers so the first mission you get first case you get one newspaper the second mission you get another newspaper but now you have because it's chronological now you have two newspapers to consult for clues and then the way the game works is that Basically, the game is just like, it's, it's kind of like a choose your own adventure in a way where there's like an opening couple paragraphs where it's like Watson is like, oh, we have a new case. And you go to, and then it's like you go to the scene and here's what you see. And here's here's who 
who you hear from. And then you're like, okay, where do you want to go next? And so you're like, well, they mentioned a Mr. Snow oh, that works at, that's interesting. that works at Terrier's Clothing. So let's open up the, the phone book. Terrier's Clothing is on, Terrier's Clothing is page, t- is like uh, 125. So now we go to 125 in the, in the case booklet and there's a paragraph there. And it says like, you go to Terrier's Clothing and you ask for Mr. Snow. And like you're you're like that could see more clues, but they're actually really well put together cases. So like each one took us like two or three hours. And there's like there's like a score. So at the end, they're like there's questions. When you think you're done, you go back to Sherlock Holmes and you you have questions, and he has questions for you. And the questions are like, who stole the jewelry? Who committed the murder? Why was Mr. Snow at the pub? And you try to answer the questions. And you get points based on whether or not you get the questions correct. But there's always like second or third mysteries. So like even if you follow a red herring and you end up on some other mystery, you can at least get points from that. And then you get points for visiting the fewest number of locations before you get to the end. But the points don't really matter. It's more about like you have these questions that you have to answer about the case. And you're trying to like go around London interviewing people and visiting locations to get the clues and put together the logic of what happened. I like that. That sounds very cool. It's actually, it's really good. Uh, I hear the distinct dulcet tones and crunches of chips that my brother may have joined the uh, call here. No, not chips. Not no, chips. Just moving, just moving my child's uh, playthings. Oh, your child's playthings. He has to have all of the toys, just like his father all of the toys well alexander's here we're gonna do some co-op once i get my truck out of this thing it's Uh, pronounced coop i think i have to go back to the main menu to do co-op so let me do an old return to main menu which we all know and love um dark co-op you do not have a return oh you know what this brings up a good question so like (laughs) drop in co-op fantastic development and i feel like once you have a game that does that it's hard to go back to other games that don't have it so what are some other mechanics you guys have encountered in video games where it's hard to go back before that mechanic or to other games that don't have that mechanic um hmm like auto save that's a difficult on the spot question it is a difficult on the spot question. Yeah, auto saves one of those. Uh, near Automata not having that was really annoying, uh, especially yeah. when I lost like an hour of progress. Although they do do the thing where you can just save wherever, pretty much wherever you are. But I'd rather have auto save or at least save every five minutes. Um, yeah, Persona Five had that where they were like, it's kind of understandable, but also not. They had like. When you're in a dungeon, there's save rooms, which kind of makes sense because it's making it a challenge. You've got to get through the areas before you can save. But they also had certain save points outside of the dungeons, and it was kind of annoying because the game is like, the game is probably about 100 hours to finish it. And it's like, it's not the type of game where you're going to, it's just you want to be able to save as, as much as you can, and losing progress really sucks considering the total play time you have to put into that game, period. Yeah. Uh, Alexander, I created a uh, We have game. a problem, though. What is our problem? I have not completed the thing so that I can play co-op. Oh, you don't have a retained truck yet? No. Well, it looks like you have to do that while I do other things. Okay. But we're glad you're here. Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. I had work. It's okay. I forgive you. At least you're the brother who wanted to be on stream. Um, okay, so, yeah, if you finish that, you can end up joining me. You just have to get to the point where you get to the garage and you can retain your truck. So I don't even have to complete the mission. I just have to drive to the garage. Yeah, but you need to build the bridge in order to get to the garage. Oh, so I have to do the mission. Yeah, pretty much. 
Um, Ian, your query has quite enlightened me to think about this. Um, I was going to say, I don't know if this counts, but when a third-person game has bad driving controls... Like, I feel like yeah, that's doesn't something... Count. Doesn't count? Okay. No. No. It's got to be like a... Like a mechanic that is like a clear revolution. Well, I, well, I was going to... go to a different game and they don't have it. What I was going to say on top of that was like... Like, right trigger for go, left trigger for oh, okay. yeah, break. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's that sort of thing is what I mean. Like, there's plenty that's of games that are just like... Uh, with the... With the uh, exclusion of Mario Kart, there's plenty of games that are just like, hit A to go forward. Like, all sorts of dumb stuff. Because I don't know if this Mario is... Kart can do no wrong. That's true. That's right. Um, um, <clears throat> with looting. So, I don't know. I, I feel like more games are starting to do this. And it's weird because I feel like this is how it was originally. So... Horizon Zero Dawn. One of the things that pissed me off about that game and made me stop playing it after like three hours was that when you loot something, like let's say there's a weed on the ground, you're looting it for crafting or whatever. You press the loot button and you stop. Your character bends down. She does this like ripping, tearing motion with her hands. You hear, you hear a little snap and then she stands back up. And it takes like a second and a half. And that's a second and a half that you are doing every single time you see a little tiny branch or twig or weed that you want to pick up for crafting. Yeah. And it's awful. Whereas something like Breath of the Wild or Assassin's Creed Origin does it very well. It's like a, I don't, it's like either instant or it's like 50 to 100 milliseconds. And it does a little noise. There may be a little tiny animation, but it's just like, boom, got it. Boom, got it. Boom, got it. And any game that doesn't do that, that doesn't have like quick loot animations that like tries to show off and do a whole animation sequence screw you done with you red dead redemption 2 i'm done with you uh, i just restarted that game great uh um, was it yeah just me or was ian a little glitchy during that rant it's probably just you because you have the worst internet available to man hey we should let you stream because then a couple streams out of you and your bad internet, and we're going to look beautiful. In your yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Will will look really good. Yeah. I was also reading, like, of programs that take internet, Skype is, like, the number one bandwidth hog. And then GTA oh, wow. on top of that <laughs> was just a nightmare. Oh. I, I'm surprised yeah, anything got out. out. I wonder if uh, we can check our internet plan and get a higher upload. Typically, yeah, I would be interested if you run a speed test. It's usually, I think it's five. Five up? Yeah. What? What? That's bad. I know I it's mean, bad. You realize that five up, and if you were running at the bit rate of... 5,000 or 5,200 or whatever you had it at, then that's your entire upload. <laughs> yeah. No, I understand. But I'm pretty sure that's what we pay for. But we've gotten away with it so I far. Mean. Actually, mine's a little slow tonight. Mine's only like one, 180. That sounds nice. But, yeah, my up is 40. Oh, oh, that was your, that was your down. Yeah, yeah. Although I was getting like 2.30 earlier today on the Xbox. Um, it is weird though how like ISPs are all like, oh yeah, you're, you've got gigabit download, bro. And then you like look at, it's like gigabit download, like 20 meg upload. You're like, what the heck's going on here? <laughs> yeah. I love for the COVID-19, they're like, yeah, don't worry about data caps, man. It's like, they're not even real anyways, right? Right? Okay, where... I have to cancel this wet... This wet harvest. This is where I'm going. Wet. 
So, Ian, are you playing as well? No, he's yeah, just I'm in the server seat. I just, um, this game's, what, 40 or $50? I'm just not sure if I'm ready to buy it at full price. I, I hear that. Yeah, um, I bought this I was, game twice. I was pretty disappointed in Division 2, and I only paid $3 for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right, yeah. A game, I don't Although know. It was War, World War Z is a lot cooler. I've heard that. Freaking rock slide. New objective. Rock obstacle. Can rock you drive this first person? Activated. Hell yeah. Unload. What do I have to go get? I'm going to check my tasks. Rock obstacle. Looks like we've got another rock slide on our hands. Time for you to suit up and save the day. A shipment of cargo needs delivering to the site of the rock slide to help with cleanup. Metal planks at the factory. Okay. I'll probably have to double back and go that way. So Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern time, is the first inside Xbox dedicated to the Xbox Series X. What are what are some expectations? What are you guys hoping to see? Uh, I'm excited to uh, see... I think they had mentioned that it, Valhalla might be there. Yes, so, that was confirmed. Uh, but I'm also ex I just want them to show off like systems. Like I want to see some menus. I want to see snappy menus. I want to see that uh, mm -hmm. like quick start stuff they've been talking about. They did show, um, so I don't know if this was confirmed. I think it was just heavily implied that they they put out like an 11 second video today and people were assuming that is the new console startup. I did see that. It looked very cool. I'm not a big fan of it. It did not. It looked cool. The sound is not good. The sound is just like this like elongated whoosh. I, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I think that uh, other than I think Xbox original is the best, but I think 360 is pretty good. Dreamcast. Really good. No, no, no. Uh, I mean of really Xbox. Good. Sorry. I think I think Xbox One's pretty good. It's just nice, clean, simple. I don't know. Xbox original is pretty good though. Wow, wow. Pretty good. Uh, but GameCube. I, th I want to say GameCube might be my my favorite. Yeah, it's pretty good. Honestly, the Switch one's pretty good. That, like, snap. Oh, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why I went this way. Um, Probably the wrong way. I So, so they've, they've sent out some, I don't want to call them cryptic. They're just kind of weirdly worded where they're like, hey, this first one on Thursday is just going to be about third-party IPs, but maybe we'll show some in, of our own IPs. I'm, I'm going to pull up the quote. It's real weird. Yeah, I think because it's they, like they're, they're clarifying, but they're also not clarifying. You know, I think they re-clarified that June is when they're showing off first-party stuff. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. So. Okay. Sorry. Apologies. Too early. Did not find the actual quotes. Wow. I'm trying to find the real quotes. Beep. Beep. Backing up. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Xbox 2020, join us as we look into the future of Xbox. Blah, 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 COVID 2020, blah, 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 blah. So what is in store for 2020? Um, our goal remains to launch Xbox Series X and Halo Infinite this holiday. All 15 Xbox Game Studio games teams are hard at work on next generation games for Series X and Xbox Game Pass. Um, the best development teams around the world are working hard to have their games ready to play on Xbox Series X this holiday. What wow. a generic statement to basically say there will be games for launch. <laughs> um, this is pretty cool. I mean, they, they've said this before, but it's still cool to read it. For PC players, we plan to support the community by making all our major releases at launch available with Xbox Game Pass for PC. Um, including Halo Infinite, Wasteland 3, Minecraft Dungeons, and of course, Microsoft Flight Simulator. 
It's just cool that they keep reiterating that. Um, Project X Cloud is going to be expanded, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, here we go. Starting with the May 7th episode of Inside Xbox, we will be showcasing what happens next in the world of Xbox every month, which is why we're calling it Xbox 2020. Uh, these monthly moments will take place throughout the rest of the year and will be a way for us to engage, connect, and celebrate with you about what's in store for the next generation of gaming. Um, for the Xbox 2020 May update, we will focus on giving you a first look at next-gen gameplay, trailers, and sneak peeks from a wide variety of publishing partners and independent developers across the globe and industry, including Ubisoft's recently announced As As Ein Kreid Vulhalla, <laughs> and hear from game good. creators about what they're doing with their games on Xbox Series X. Yeah, so it's basically third party. <gasps> Thank you, Coffee Drinking Bear, for subscribing. Oh, wait. Second paragraph. We'll... First paragraph is saying what they're doing in May. Second paragraph, continuing. We'll be confirming games that utilize our new smart delivery feature, which ensures that you always play the best version of the games you own for the console across generations, and the games you see will be Xbox Series X optimized, meaning they are built to take advantage of the powerful Xbox Series X features that make Ooh. games look and feel incredible, including 4K resolution at up to 120 frames per second, direct storage, which I believe is just the... Oh, crap. What, what was direct storage again? It's their weird name for something that doesn't make sense. Uh, it's their I thing can't... where... Is that the thing where they choose what parts of the game are installed? Or is that just their... Hardware accelerated, direct X-ray tracing, super fast load times, etc. So yeah. So basically, it's third party on Thursday, and they're also going to mention which games are Series X optimized, as well as new smart delivery, which means you buy it once you get it on multiple generations. Okay, direct good. storage is an all-new I.O. system designed specifically gaming to unleash the full performance of the SSD and hardware compression. So it's just, it's basically SSD speeds. Um, yeah, exciting stuff. I, I'm ready to see, let's count, let's count. How many next-gen gameplay videos have we seen? We saw Hellblade 2, Senua's uh, second sacrifice, colon, this time it's personal. Did we see it? Um, Wait, when did we see it? We saw it at the Game Awards. They showed. Well, sorry, I, I don't necessarily mean gameplay. I mean in. Oh, 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 oh! Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, yeah. got gotcha. you. Okay. Um, we also saw that. Actually, we have not. We saw Halo Infinite in engine. We did not see that PS5 title. I can't even remember what it's called. I don't think that was running on a PS5 or in engine. Oh yeah. PS5. I think they may have released something later. But I think that's it. That's the only next-gen stuff we have seen in a next-gen engine. So I'm excited to see some stuff. Because Hellblade, when I saw that, that was the first time I got excited for next-gen because that looked incredible. Mm -hmm. That looked uh, phenomenal. Did you play Hellblade? No, I don't give a shit about that game. But <laughs> it looked incredible. <laughs> it's a good game, honestly. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I, I'm just, you know, you go through those phases where you're like, I love video games. And then for like a month, you're just like, man, I don't feel like playing anything. I'm yeah. in, I'm deep in one of those right now. Gotcha. How deep <laughs> is your love? <clears throat> Pull me out, baby. That's how deep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Great. So Great streamers. Either of you see the PS5 rumors about demos? No. Oh, yes. I know what you're talking about. But Very continue. exciting. Basically, the rumor, not certified at all, reported on by some outlets, but I'm pretty sure there's like nowhere near enough confirmation to really be reporting on this. But basically, the rumor is that PS5 Store will allow you to run demos of almost any game instant. So the idea is you're in a store, you're in the PS5 store, you see a game you like, you say play demo, it immediately launches the demo and you are in the game playing a, a section of it, a slice of it, and then it kicks you back out and says, do you want to buy the game? Which is cool. I, cool. I can easily see them doing that with their PS Now cloud gaming technology. You know, it's not local. They just, bam, boot, they kick you right into a, a cloud instance of the demo. You're playing it and then they kick you back out. That's, that's pretty cool tech. 
Um, not confirmed, but that is some. That's that's a pretty cool, a cool idea. That's the first thing about PS5 that actually has me like, has my interest peaked about that console, honestly. <laughs> Do you own any PlayStation consoles? Um, I have a PS4. I used to have a PSP, and I also own a PS2. No, a PS1, <laughs> which I haven't even plugged in. <laughs> I'm not a big uh, Sony fan. Nothing against him. I just... I don't know. But I'm also not a big Xbox fan. I don't know. Okay. Buy a big truck, Will. I don't have enough money. Is this early access or launch? Uh, It is launch. It looks. I only played um, Mud Runner once when it first came out on early access. So to see how much they've actually added and improved, and like updated UI and stuff, it's crazy. Yeah. Okay, so I need. It's actually to get... really nice. Because typically, like early access games, it's sad to say, but I feel like when early access games come out, they look like they're twenty percent completed. But in reality, they are 80% completed, and the dev just keeps adding random crap to it. Like, they never go back and actually f- yeah. fix the UI, fix the experience, fix the actual game playthrough, you know. Garage. Put me in the garage. Grab my truck. Hi, stream mom. Hi, stream mom. Uh, Hi, stream leave mom. garage. Okay, I need to get some... I need to fix this. Where is that truck? Oh, it's over there. I need to fix this truck. Knights of Columbus. Okay, I'm going to get... Who will carry it? Is there a small... Oh, oh, wish look I how had. big that trailer is. These are crazy. Okay, I need a little trailer. That's big. I don't want to pay that much. Um, so I haven't been paying attention. What are you doing right now? Uh, I don't really know. I'm kind of just messing around. I was going to go see if I could fix up this other truck I have. Can you pick up that trailer right there? Or no? Yeah. I'm gonna... There we go. Got it. I think I can use this to repair this other truck. Oh man, I should show this to my nephew. He's in first grade and he has played, no joke, he's played about 150 hours of VMNG. He loves that game, especially spawning trailers and hooking them up. So I bet he would love this game. Okay, I refueled that truck. I'm gonna try to repair. Hi Duzzy, thanks for joining. Uh, Duzzy, this is Ian. I'm a quarter of Subpixel. Oh, yeah. I was going to be on cam, but we were having some, some internet issues. Will is playing. He's the guy you see on, on the screen. That's We've me. Also got, also got Alex. That's Will's brother. He's going to be trying to join in on co-op, which should be fun. Oh, look at this. This truck's good. Um, just to continue the news section, have you seen the rumors about the NVIDIA Ampere GPU line that is going to be announced soon and released this year? I did not. So the, the rumored code name is 3060. So it'd be like 3060, 3070, 3080 compared to the current line, which is 2060, 2070, 2080. They said that the 3060 is going to be as powerful, if not more powerful, than the current 2080 Ti, which is a $1,000 graphics card. Wow. Yeah. They're talking about a crazy performance increase. That's... Especially, you know, the 3060 is probably going to be, what, 400 bucks compared to a $1,000 card? Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty excited. I think... I think... I don't know. 
Part of me is like trying to save up for a house, but the other part of me would really like a new graphics card. So I may end up picking up whatever the 3080 is, as long well, as it's actually decent and is not plagued with horrible issues. Yeah. What was the time frame for that again? So I believe the announcement's going to be in June, but they're probably not going to start releasing until August, September. And then, you know, that's going to be what they call the reference card, which is where, like, it's like the baseline card. And there's going to be some third-party manufacturers that have the baseline along with, like, slight tweaks of it. But I'll probably wait a little bit because you wait a couple months and then all of a sudden these manufacturers start putting out, like, oh, it's the it's the 3080 Super or the 3080 OC version, which is running, like, 200 megahertz higher. And you get a, like, 10% performance bump out of it and it's the same price. So I'll probably wait until... December or maybe early next year to pick up because I'm running a 1080 which is fine it's just that I've got a 4k monitor and some games I can do 4k some games I can't it's starting to stress a little bit especially with the streaming so I, I need to upgrade yeah I hear you and I was hoping I can buy some new tires man look at these big boys so the problem is these oh, two those... trucks I have are uh, they're highway trucks oh so you need to get better tires but they're locked how do you unlock them i'm not sure but i do so the thing i realize i can drive around in my in this guy who has good tires and mm -hmm. uh try to find like there's like buried not buried trucks but like sunken trucks I guess is the oh and it, like fix them up okay i'm gonna stop tracking this this game uh, does look fun i do hope to play it one day i'm just i don't know that i can spend 40 or 50 bucks on it yeah i don't know if i should have either but it happened so might as well play it so see there's a drowned highway truck over here yeah go do it go fix it up uh, so i there's a drowned scout truck so i might actually try to go get out to this right yeah I don't want to get another highway truck. Is my, my you get issue. that? Do you get that? You get that reference? The place beyond the spruces, like the place beyond the pines. Oh, that's such a fantastic movie. Uh, we, movie. We almost watched it the other night. I haven't seen it yet. It's uh, really, really good. It's fantastic. We watched um, uh, Hail Caesar, mm -hmm. which uh, not bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It it was in. It really had. I don't know how to explain it, but it really kind of just was it's not like yeah it was it, anything it's like, crazy it is a coen's brothers movie but it's like yeah. it's like a coen's brother movie where the story doesn't really come together but it still has crazy characters with entertaining performances yeah i, I really enjoyed it so stream mom is asking what do you do in this game oh you do whatever the frick you want in this game like get stuck and look at your guy bob his head so you basically uh, you can complete contracts. There's all these different contracts on the map. You can go around and discover new trucks. Um, it's just all around fun, you know? Put myself yeah. in low here. Um, I, I finished today. Part of the reason why I've been eating on stream, in case you couldn't tell, is I finished True Detective Season 3 like oh. an hour and a half ago, which delayed me getting dinner started. Um, pretty good. It was season you know, three. I, I feel like True Detective is one of those shows where season one was overrated. I thought it was pretty good, but some people were like, it's the best television's ever been. I'm like, no, not really. And then season two came out and people were like, this is the worst thing ever. And I was like, no, it's, it's still good. It's not as good as season one, but it's still good. And season three, I, I can't remember what people's reactions to it were, but I actually... I really like season three. So it's like it's like my experience with True Detective is it's like it's like pretty good, good, pretty good. And everybody else is like amazing, trash, and then they don't say anything about the third season. <laughs> um but it's it's good. I I forget how great it is. Like HBO series and UK series and even Netflix series where it's like eight to ten episodes per se per season. And yeah. it's just like boom, done. Like I binged True Detective over the last three, maybe four days, because it was only eight episodes, and each episode is between like 55 minutes and an hour 10, and it's just like, get it done, you know? It's not like you're trying to watch House, which has hour episodes 
and there's 20 episodes per season there's like 10 seasons you know yeah so it's, it's like you're able to just to just get a ton um and i i really enjoy that well we need to get some mod crawlers and play in this map yeah the, yeah this game supports a bunch of mods uh like the first one they actually started with mod support um mm -hmm. so it's like the first game, we would just download crazy trucks and then just go play them. Oh, that sounds like fun. Okay. Uh, speaking of games that we've been purchasing lately, though, I bought recently a Neo Geo Mini, which is a weird little mini arcade cabinet thing, but it has HDMI out. Will, HDMI out. Guess which HDMI connector this mini thing uses uh, is it a micro hdmi it is not is it a mini hdmi it's a mini hdmi i didn't even know these existed until i unpacked this thing and i looked at it and i was like what it's so weird it's like the mini hdmi is like what three or four millimeters narrower than the, than the normal hdmi yeah that, <laughs> it's like, that's it's like why would you do this the raspberry pi 4 is mini hdmi Oh, that's. So I, have, I have a couple. Yeah, convert I, I have something else that uses it too. It's just like micro HDMI is so small, and it's and it's great, you know, because I have a couple things that use micro HDMI, so I already had cables. Um, but anyways, I have it working. So Friday, I believe it's Friday at five PM Eastern. I'm gonna be doing a stream where I'm just gonna be running through some games. It has like thirty or forty games in it. Um. It's weird if you haven't seen it. It's basically like a six inch tall arcade cabinet with the sticks and the controllers and the buttons on the front of it. And then like a two and a half inch screen on it. But you can also HDMI out. But when you HDMI out, you still have to use the little joystick and buttons on the, the mini arcade cabinet. But it actually kind of works. And the games look great. Like it has, I think it has three Metal Slug games. Ooh, so be, I love Metal uh, Slug. Streaming that on Friday. Just kind of having some fun with it. Um, I think it's normally $120, but for some reason it was on sale for $30. And I was like, yeah, why not? I think I broke this game. I can't access, I can't select truck store or truck storage. And I don't have a truck. On the map? On the map. <laughs> Let me try reloading. Oh man, classic! I, honestly, I just play this game and listen to podcasts. Um, oh man, well, oh, I, here I shouldn't go. have watched the stream because because now I kind of want to now I kind of want to buy this game and we could have some multiplayer fun. There's some crazy trucks you can buy. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I can look through. Give me two seconds. Yeah. Look. Um, man, it's some of some of their choices on controls. Have always bugged me though. Um, Truck so... is not available in USA. This what? is America. Wait, USA in the game, or is in like you have the US version of the game? I think USA is in the map. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Because there's well, like Russian it's stuff. To put that in there. Look, yeah, some of these trucks are crazy. Whoa! Oh, that looks good. I saw they had like, look like excavators. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think these are all uh, the Russian ones. That's oh crazy. Okay, I'm gonna customize Ooh. this truck. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna put some oh. all-terrain tires oh, you know on what? here. While you're doing that, so if you notice, some of these are real trucks, like the Hummer H2 and the Chevy, but other ones are like the VW Bug, but not named the VW Bug. And I'm assuming that's because of licensing rights. Yeah, most um, likely. Interesting, though, a couple weeks ago, there was a lawsuit by, I think it was. You know, I'm going to look it up real quick. I'm going to look it up real quick. This is completely relevant. I promise you. Um, um Oh. oh no sorry it was it was between call of duty and gm or oh. sorry am general 
AM General is the maker of the Humvee. And basically, AM General said, you can't call these Humvees and you can't show the Humvee in your game because you didn't go to us for licensing rights. Um, or sorry. the old lawsuit? No, I th it, it was 2017 was when the lawsuit started. But April, okay, this is real, but it was published on April 1st. April 1st, 2020 <laughs> is, when the, is when the judgment was handed down. Okay, so here it goes. <clears throat> Basically, the judge said that it passed the Rogers test, referring to a 1980s ruling on the use of trademark names and artistic works. I'm reading from the Verge article. The quote being, if realism, oh no, here, it was metaphysically possible for Activision to have produced games without the presence of Humvees. But if realism is an artistic goal, then the presence in modern warfare games of vehicles employed by actual militaries undoubtedly furthers that goal. So they basically said, because, because it is an artistic work, you are allowed to use trademark names and oh, copyrighted wow. content for an artistic purpose. Because so, it's replicating war and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So, so I'm not sure if... if SnowRunner would have a similar uh, a similar argument because they're not necessarily... Well, I mean, they're kind of going for realism, but it's not as, like, heavily emphasized on realism as, like, Modern Warfare as the story was. <gasps> but the point being, that whole thing about, oh, you don't use real guns or real vehicles because you could get sued for it, that may be up in smoke now after this ruling. So there's also another one where... There was a legal victory a week before this one where publisher Take-Two, quote, prevailed in a lawsuit over whether it could depict LeBron James tattoos in the NBA 2K franchise. I believe that lawsuit was the tattoo artist sued NBA 2K for showing off his artwork, which was on LeBron James' body. Oh, I remember game. that. Because that was and, like a two wrestling thing too, right? Yeah, I believe so. And Take-Two won. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. We could start seeing more brand names in video games more freely because you don't have to worry about licensing. Will I am. Yes, sir. I can, I think I can do, how have I not retained a truck? Are you at the garage? Well, I'm trying to join, <coughs> seeing if I can Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I should have asked this earlier. Have you played this game before? Because all I'm seeing you do is just get stuck. All of uh, I'm trying. To, I'm getting stuck because I wanted to try to get out to this thing, but uh, I thought maybe I would make it with these new tires. Yeah, I'm just I'm just messing with you. I feel like ninety percent. I feel like it is deliberate gameplay in this game that you get stuck. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh winch baby. Let me unlock this truck. Oh, what do I have to do? Oh, that worked way too well. Uh, hey, trouble at the farm. We got trucks wedged deep. Oh, I gotta haul it out. Oh, oh that's not no. gonna happen. You gotta pick your path carefully, buddy. Oh, no. Actually, it's not that bad because what you just did kind of worked. Like, if you get stuck, you winch yourself back towards the other truck. Yeah, but I don't think... Oh, I didn't realize this was a task. I thought this was, hey, unlock this car. <laughs> no. I think I'm actually stuck now. Oh, I'm not in low. That's why. I'm trying to join you, Will. Uh, I'm not in a multiplayer anymore, so I can switch over. Can uh, you, um, is there an option to, like, get out and put kitty litter under the tires and, like, dig yourself uh, out manually? No, I really wish there was. Yeah. It would be so good. Or if you could, like, shift weight in the vehicle. Uh, let me, Alexander, let me quickly try to set up a co-op. And then see if you can join. If not, then we can uh, maybe wrap it up. It is 10 o'clock after all. And... You know what? This game is also piquing my interest where I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy a pickup truck towards the end of next year or early 2022. Which, yes, is far out. But at the same time, I can't stop looking at used pickup trucks. I've always wanted hey, to have I like got, a. I got. 
four or five pickup trucks. Who does? <laughs> I think I'm gonna, I want, I, okay, so here's the main use of the pickup truck. We're gonna have a house, so we're gonna be buying furniture, and we're gonna be doing a lot of lumber. So it doesn't even need to be a big one. It just needs to have a long bed. But not even necessarily I, a long bed. It, it's like, I'm not gonna I buy like a Honda Ridgeline. Oh no. What uh, is it? Try to join it's me, like Alexander. 19. 1969 oh god oh god chevy or gmc c2500 with a utility bed which is See a that? long bed so here's the problem that sounds perfect but i forgot about my other requirement which is i still have to use it during my job and my job involves telematics devices that plug into an obd2 port so it has to be 94 or newer otherwise well... i would totally buy that truck <laughs> yeah that's that's part of the problem is i keep finding all these really good like late 70s and mid 80s trucks like the original toyota truck and i'm like let's do it and then they don't have an obd2 port so well i can't i don't have enough money to buy a truck and it doesn't say i have a truck so when you go to the garage did you retain it yeah and it's in your truck uh. storage you have to go into the garage and, and then hit Y to retain it. But I, hold on. Oh wait, you're in my. Oh, you're in my game now. Yeah, but I don't have a truck. Oh, <laughs> that's great. Oh, uh, we're so can close. You can you passenger? I don't think so. What? I can't believe it. Well, I guess it warned you. That you didn't have a retained oh, truck. Oh, no. I just so found I... out that this this ice rink that's in Maryland, near where I used to live, is being used as a temporary morgue for COVID. Oh, boy. That's Ooh, dark. Sorry, I think I interrupted you, Alex. No, I, I'm just trying to figure out how I get... Stream mom, I was about to ask, how did you expect to pull that truck out when you can barely get out yourself? You know what? It's the journey, not the destination. <laughs> and I journeyed there. Um, okay. Let me see if there's anything else to do. How do I retain it? So go to the like garage. In, in the in the regular? Yeah, if you're in the garage, I think you hit Y to retain it. Hold on. I gotta go back to like normal gameplay and retain it. Yeah, so, so go to I the normal game. Player. Yeah, it has to be in your truck storage. It's very stupid. It's the one stupid thing. Oh. Do I have cargo? No, I don't. You guys do anything for uh, Cinco de Mayo? Uh, uh, you're no. listening to it. This is what? This is the party. <laughs> I was thinking about giving, like, Taco Bell or something, but th this is the day when they're slammed, so it's just not worth it. <laughs> yeah. That, that and the poop. The poop, the runs. Oh, yeah, but that's worth it. Yeah, yeah. especially those chicken burritos. What's your uh, Taco Bell go-to's? Um, Alex, you kick it off. I like a good chicken uh, quesadilla. Ooh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. How about you, Will? I like the chicken burritos. And because um, mm -hmm. you get like four of them. And then because yeah. they're tiny. And then the nachos are pretty good. And then uh I can't really remember. The last time I had Taco Bell, I was in LA in like 2016. Um, I can't really remember what else I got. So but my <laughs> um, what? My, you okay over there? I don't understand how he hasn't been to Taco Bell in like four years. Oh, because there's probably not any near you, right, Will? Uh, I don't know if there are. There, there was the alcohol, the alcoholic 
uh, Taco Bell near my old work in uh, Manhattan. Oh, yeah. But that's about it. Plus, the other thing is, like, if you're outside of a city, there's a limited number of food places. There's an even more limited number of fast food places. Taco Bell is almost guaranteed to be in that short list. Whereas, like, if you're in a city, there's a whole lot of options for fast food. Gotcha. So, yeah. you know. Um, my go-to is Mexican pizza. Always. God, mm. I just love that Mexican pizza. Especially if they've stopped doing this, which has pissed me off, but I still order it. If they give you the spork, it's gold. You get the little spork and you eat the Mexican pizza with the spork. I love it. Um, my second is typically a grilled double XL stuffed burrito with steak. Although I think they may have gotten rid of that recently. I can't remember. No. And then to round out the order, I either get a Crunchwrap Supreme, which is kind of a vanilla choice, or I get a chicken chalupa because that mm. like chalupa breading is really good. And then I yeah. used to, I used to do this. So when I, when I was working on the Miata and I had to put a new exhaust header on, one of the things they said was, it was like a stainless steel exhaust header. And they said, make sure to clean it with vodka right before you turn it on for the first time. Cause that way you won't burn in any fingerprints or oil stains. So I oh, bought gotcha. vodka and the cheapest vodka I could find right before I installed the exhaust was like a handle of vodka. <laughs> nice. So, so I just so I just bought that and I cleaned it and I thought I would use more of it and I only used about a third of it. So I had this big two thirds handle of vodka in my apartment and I used to go to Taco Bell about once a week. Okay, it was a habit. This was this was the bachelor's life. Every Sunday for lunch, I would go to Taco Bell. I would get the Mexican pizza, the chicken chalupa, the grilled double XL stuffed burrito and like a Baja Blast mm. or whatever frozen drink they have there. Take it all home put a bunch of vodka into the frozen Baja Blast or whatever, and then sit on the couch and just eat for like four or five hours straight and watch mm. whatever stupid movie I felt like putting on. And it was That's amazing. pretty good. Yeah. I kind yeah, of regret was... not getting Taco Bell earlier. Yeah, awesome. now I want Taco Bell. We could do a mukbang stream where we all eat on camera. Mmm. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Home and low still. So. What's up, Never Will? Mind. What's up? You're finally oh. here. Can you I'm put your tiny you. truck on this big truck? Can you put your teeny tiny body on my teeny tiny truck? <laughs> put your teeny truck in my big <laughs> truck, boy. You suggested tacos for dinner, but they were corn and bean tacos. I did. I wanted like. I just didn't want them. That's not bad. Oh yeah. my god, guys. I think you'll appreciate this. There is a taco place that opened up near my parents, which is only about 10-15 minutes from me. And it's a little hole in the wall taco place. But I've had their tacos and it's like authentic like Mexican street tacos. I don't mm. know what they're doing in the middle of Maryland. <laughs> but it's literally like authentic, legit tacos and they're incredibly it's probably good. witness protection. I hope so. So we have a tiny, like two blocks away from us, is a tiny, maybe f six foot by six foot taco cart with these people. Uh, I presume it wow, these people. Mexicans. Wow. Um, I was gonna say they. I think they like speak Spanish, obviously. Yeah. Um, obviously, uh, but they make authentic tacos, and it is they're the best tacos I've ever had. It's like. I think it's like yeah. seven bucks. Karen, you can comment. Is it seven or eight bucks for four tacos? Oh, oh that's real good. That's Which is really, really good. I haven't eaten. Uh, a stream mom is saying, please mukbang. Oh, yeah. Well, he, I guess we got to do it saying now. That. Please, please mukbang. In all caps. Please. Um, there is what? a good recipe on Vice to make a uh, uh, crunch wrap, and I was thinking of doing that. Mm. Because I don't think I've ever uh, had so. one. So. They're, they're, they're novel. Yeah, I'll give them that. They're kind of like, kind of like a quarter pounder with cheese. You know, they're good, but there's nothing crazy special or great about them. Finally, get to cross the bridge. All in power line. I'm gonna go to That's, town. We, we never did it. our, we never did our Grubhub idea, which was that we were gonna order Grubhub for each other. Oh, now's the perfect time. 
Karen says eight dollars for four tacos. Meanwhile, fancy taquerias, the downtown area, fourteen for three, and they're not yeah. as good. Yeah, that place is great. There was a place by the fire station where I used to live that they strictly only spoke Spanish, and so I would have to. Uh, I I think I would say, what did I say? Cuatro tacos. Cuatro, Cuatro carne asada tacos. tacos. Can I get Cuatro tacos, please? Yeah, they'd all stare. You guys speak American here? Can I get four American tacos, please? You know what? One phone call I'll kick you all out. That's used like, to, um, you guys ever had um, cheese steaks in Philly at, like, the two Philly cheese steaks yep. places, the originals? Yeah. Um, they put hairs in them. The, you know how, like, that one place where they're, I think it's only one of them does this, where they're like, this is how you order, and they have signs everywhere, and they're like, you have yeah. to say it this way. Whiz, cheese with, with or cheese without. without. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, like, so stupid. <laughs> yeah, like, I hate that why, stuff. Why can't I say, can I have a cheese steak with cheese? Uh, no onions, thank you. And they're like, yeah, no, you have uh, to say, you have to say one whiz without. <laughs> okay? <laughs> it's it's like one of those sketches where it's like, say it, Danny. Say it like the little girl you are. <laughs> um, I'll take a one cheese whiz. Look at this empty COVID-19 town. Oh, there's a car over here. I'm gonna hit this car. Insurance fraud. Oh, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy oh. this game, aren't I? I bounced hard. All right, okay, let me, let me phrase it this way. Do you think we're gonna do another multiplayer? Snow Runner stream. Think I it's worth would. it because I think we could make I some would. pretty cool cult. Col- col- <laughs> I think we could make some pretty good goals. Sorry. Oh, I thought you were trying to say content. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I only heard the first part of that sentence, and I was confused where you were going with that. <laughs> we could make pretty good porn. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I may. I may buy this game. No, no, I'm going to wait a week. I'm going to wait a bit because I just bought Assassin's Creed. i got to play that. Oh. Wait, but doesn't this price go up in the next day or two? I feel like somebody told me that. Me? No, I think that's Chimera Squad you're thinking. I did just oh. buy... Um, I bought Pod Racer for a certain stream coming up. And I also bought X-Wing because I've heard nothing but good things about Star Wars X- uh, TIE Fighter. Sorry, Star Wars TIE Fighter, not X-Wing. I heard okay. X-Wing's not great. Yeah. I was looking at you know that what? too because I I was going to play... I love Rogue Squadron, but I haven't really played any of the sequels or like the spinoffs like Starfighter and Battle for Naboo, so I was thinking about playing through those. Yeah. TIE Fighter... You know what wasn't great? What? Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. That's my but favorite you know movie. what was great? <laughs> Jake's Rewrite. Uh, oh, this uh, is an epic game, isn't this? Ian, as a... Yes, this is an epic game. Ian, as a English scholar and uh, mm-hmm. terrible movie critic, what uh, what were your feelings on Jake's <laughs> script? Okay, so... so Okay, all right. I know he's not watching. <laughs> I'm not going to slam him. It's just... Um, he, did you note that he gave himself restrictions, like he, like having Palpatine alive and stuff like that? Yeah. I feel like if I'm going to put the effort into doing a fanfic screenplay, I'm going to get rid of some of the stupidest things that they did. You know. Um, I don't think Palpatine being alive is the stupidest thing they did. It's pretty... Uh, I because don't it was big stupid, in those Jedi... Uh, it's Jedi Academy. It's the, biggest, it's the biggest stupid thing they did. Um, I wasn't a big fan of Finn and Poe romance just because... It didn't feel like it was earned. Yeah. I, or forecast at all. It just happened. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'll agree to that. I did like that it though. happened think... because I think it was a thing that could happen. But I think, yeah. I also think if it was a movie, it would be more foreshadowed in like scenes. Yeah. I was also thinking about how this, this is. This is going to sound weird, but it's like, you can't just have it. You also have to realize that a majority of your audience is not going to like that, either because they're homophobic 
or because they don't want politics in their movie. Yeah. So you need to spend enough time tricking them into being like, okay, you can't just it. be like, oh, by the way, they're gay. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get them hey. to like really appreciate the characters, love the characters, and then the characters slowly morph into like bros and they're buddies, and then there's like, what if they're a little bit more than that? And then by that point, the audience has a buy-in. And I feel like over the three series, three film series, as well as last night's screenplay, it didn't do nearly enough build up. Yeah. I didn't, when did what? I didn't know they were gay. Oh, it's so Jake. Not, uh, not in the actual of movies. Oh. Yeah, he wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I totally missed that. <laughs> yeah, it's in the comic. That's uh, The comic is canon now, though. So. <laughs> my comic that's under my mattress. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing was, this is going to sound really like pedestrian in a way. And I'll qualify it. Not enough action. And by that, specifically, I mean action movies do a pretty good job of like establishing themselves as action movies because in that opening segment, there's at least a little bit of action where it's just like kicking off the movie with a little bit of action. And mm. there was none of that in Jake's screenplay. It was like, it was like 20, 25. I'm going to say it was like 15, 20 minutes as in one minute per page. Yeah. Before we finally got to some action, and that's that's not going to cut it for for uh, a blockbuster big budget action. Movie. Yeah, I I think with the restrictions he put in place, it was good. Um, I I think the Palpatine I think clones I think it's a fantastic first draft. Yeah, it's a great first draft. I think the Palpatine clone stuff's fine because I I mean I've been okay with that ever since those original Thrawn trilogy had that, and it was like but Thrawn trilogy did it a little bit differently. Um, where no, wait no no wait wait Thrawn trilogy Palpatine wasn't back in the Thrawn trilogy uh or was it I thought Thrawn trilogy had a little bit of it or was that just Jedi Academy no. that had it I I can say it for certainty because I just read the Thrawn trilogy within the last 12 months it does not it has clones it has Thrawn he has he figures out the clones he figures out all the Spartai cylinders and he basically starts mass producing oh yeah I think it is Jedi Academy because Jedi Academy has uh, the dark. Is it the Dark Sun? And it it has the secret. Uh, did you see? Did you see Solo? Yes, I did the see like Solo. secret base hidden in a black hole is from yeah. Jedi Academy books. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Um, those books um, are, are really good. Yeah, I there was some moment. I keep trying to remember. There was some moment in Jake's screenplay. Where I'm not saying I was bored for most of it, but where I actually like was 110% paying attention to see what, and I started reading ahead to see what would happen next. And it was towards the end of the movie. I can't remember what it was. It may have been Finn. I think Finn. I like Finn's well speech used. and everything. I, I honestly was yeah. so happy I got to play him because I like secretly wanted to, but I didn't want to be like, oh yeah. But I'll be the black guy. Yeah, I'll be the black guy. <laughs> But then when Jake asked, I was like, no one said anything. I was like, you know what? I'll just do it. And I actually had a good time. Yeah. Um, What else was I going to say? The only thing is that I don't know if Finn should have force powers or not. Yeah. I kind of like the idea of him being like a non-force Jedi where he's just, he's kind of like what I really liked about, what really pissed me off about Leia and her force powers in Last Jedi is that I always saw Leia as somebody who was a badass and didn't need the force to be a badass. Yeah. You know? And and it felt kind of like a betrayal of her character to, to go heavily into her having force powers. And it felt like with Finn, it wasn't quite as bad, but I wanted Finn to be similar. Or Finn, Finn can stand toe-to-toe. He's a self-made badass. He doesn't need the force. You know? Like, yeah. he's, he's a normal wielding a lightsaber because he's earned it. Yeah. Well, um, that's probably a good place to end this. You think? I'm stuck in the mud again. Talking Star Wars. I mean, we could keep talking Star Wars, or I could go to sleep. I'm okay with talking Star Wars some more. How's your um your sleep schedule? I I just got to the point where I'm actually sleeping to my 8 a.m. alarm, whereas normally I'm on my 
normal work schedule of like waking up at like 6 30 but i just got to it in the last week where i actually am sleeping to 8 a.m now so i normally would like go to bed around 11 30 and wake up at 8 but now i can't i go to bed at like i turn off a, like attempt to sleep is what i call going to bed i attempt to sleep mm-hmm. starting around 11 30 and i don't fall asleep until maybe 12 30 or 1 and then i when i try to wake up at 8 my it's not like i'm tired when i wake up i just like feel awful so i usually yeah. sleep to like 8 30 or 8 45 um which i i honestly want to curb because i like getting up at 8 normally but I think what yeah. I have to do is the rest of this week, even though I, I, I'm done with work for this week, um, the rest of this week I need to like go to bed at midnight and wake up at like 7.45 and just get up and make sure I'm tired for the next night um, to try to get there. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I hate you guys. Yeah, you, you have a child. <laughs> well, like, It's your decision. 10 to 12 hours a day. Yeah, but you also made the mistake of living where you work and also your family is are the people you work for. No, no. I don't work for them. They're they I'm <laughs> endangered. <laughs> I'm, I'm on a stream so I have to be <laughs> correct. The nor- <laughs> yeah. The, the, the police could hear endangered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hear. Oh boy. Ooh. Yeah, I guess I guess we could end it. I guess we could end it. Let's end it. Sorry, um, I, didn't, I didn't mean to continue doing it. I just felt like I was in a good mood. But clearly uh, not. Uh, no, no, I'm off. fine with I'm fine with continuing. Um I was gonna Will, say you need uh, to save me. I need to pay you? Save me. Oh, where are you? you? Go save him. I'm on the map, I'm rolled over. Are you the? Oh I'm shit! I'm on brother, the map. So far I'm away. rolled over. Okay, I don't think I can get to you. I might have to switch to the. Um, Ian, I was just gonna ask what your thoughts on <laughs> uh-huh. uh, Taika Waititi doing a Star Wars movie. Ooh, you know, look, I I don't want to be sexist. And I'm not sexist, but <laughs> I don't have much faith in Kathleen here Kennedy. It comes. And it has and it has nothing to do with her being a woman. It has oh. everything to do with how badly Disney has done Star Wars. I don't have any Overall. any uh no, I agree with you. And so like knowing you know, it's it's weird. It's like they did there was no oversight on JJ for the trilogy. Felt like there wasn't enough oversight on Ryan Johnson. Or at least there wasn't enough cohesion. <laughs> and but at the same time, they got rid of Trevor O. And Taika Waititi did an, an episode of Mandalorian, and it didn't really feel like him. Which does kind of happen in TV shows. So yeah. I'm just, it's like, I think, I think there's three possibilities here. One possibility is that he does a Star Wars movie. It is a Disney Star Wars movie, and there's not a whole lot of him in it of like his personality etc the other end of the spectrum is that he does a full blown his movie and it's wrapped in Star Wars and the middle is that it's it's about half and half yeah and and I'm not sure that did you see um, Jojo Rabbit yeah yes I wasn't a big fan of it I liked it I liked it too. I I, I didn't think it was as <laughs> Watiti as his other movies. It was much more. Yeah, I just it felt like he was unrestrained, but in kind of in a bad way. Whereas something like what we do in the shadows and Ragnarok, like, or sorry, not Ragnarok, whatever the was yeah. that what it is? Yeah, Ragnarok. What's the new one called? Um, uh, no. Uh, I forget. Anyways, and Blood and, and Chrome, Game. Blood and Thunder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Uh, Blood, Sweat, and Pixels. Yeah. Um, Jason Trotter. It, it, it feels like he delivered... If Jojo Rabbit, to me, felt like he delivered a first draft, and it was 75% of the wear there, but then they didn't go back and polish it. Um, 
and I'm worried that's going to be his Star Wars movie. It's either going to be that, where it's a first draft, but it's not polished, or he's not going to be in it. So it's either going to yeah. be a committee writes it, and he's just there as a director, or he does all of it, and it's not quite polished. And I think that's more likely than it being what it should be, which is a big budget movie that he's driving and he has his touch all over it. But at the same time, there are checks in place to make sure that it's it's there are rewrites. It's it's honed. It's perfected. It's sculpted and it's perfected. Yeah. All okay. right. Uh, well, what do you how think you? of Rogue One? I need to go back and rewatch it. I think I didn't like it when I saw it in theaters, but I'm starting to think that may have just been my mood at the time for whatever reason. Because yeah. I remember coming out of the theater going, I liked a lot of those characters and I liked a lot of the story choices, but for some reason, I didn't like the movie. And so I feel like I need to go back and rewatch it. Because I, I, I love that director. I love Monsters. That's a fantastic movie. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and the Godzilla movie, the story has big problems with it, but it's it's beautiful, well shot, etc. Yeah. So I'm... I'm I need to go back and see Rogue One. Is Rogue One on? Look it uh, it's on Plus. I think it's on Netflix. Netflix. And I think it is also still on Netflix. It's also on my Plex server. Ooh, I found this real good website, by the way. The it's Pirate Bay. Real Cuddle. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Real Good, R E E L G O O D. It's just a super easy way to like look up a movie or a TV series, and it will tell you where it's for streaming, but you can also create an account for free and just say like hey i have netflix hulu and disney plus and it will instantly tell you yes this movie is available for you to watch on hulu oh, that's um, and then you can just add it to your list so i have like i have an account here whenever i feel like watching a movie i just open it up and i go to my list and i'm like what is on my list and available for me to watch right now <laughs> and it shows me all the stuff it's great winch suggestion uh, rejected Excuse me? Oh, wow. Alex, you got real stuck there. Yeah. <laughs> um, how do I change winch points? Oh, there we go. What? Winch suggestion rejected automatically, it's telling me. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Oh, oh, that's, that's not good. good. <laughs> Help me, Tom Cruise! <laughs> oh. Street, Street Mom said he turned on his PS4 controller and it crashed his computer's audio renderer. That's no. fantastic. Now that's a bug. That's like the, um... What was that bug with Pokemon... Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield and Hulu's where if you went into multiplayer in Pokemon and you did the local multiplayer and it would look for other people playing Pokemon on the Wi-Fi or the local area network. It was the code it was doing to do that was the exact same command to reboot Roku devices. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, which is crazy. But it just happened to be the same command. So if you did that, you would force your Roku stick to get to like an endless reboot loop. Um, Alexander, I can't winch you for some reason. Can you give me a good ramming? Oh, you know I can. <laughs> Wait, can he can he winch to you? Uh, he stalled. I wonder if I can tuck in over here. What are we buy? Oh, you got a snorkel? Yeah, I just bought it. I gotta go in the oh. low. Oh no. Oh wait. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Help me, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Use your witchcraft. Ah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I'm okay. Oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> okay, what if I hit you from above and flip you over more? That's what I was. Yeah. <laughs> you might be stuck now. No way. Hey, my truck's running. Hey. 
I'm pushing. I'm trying. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Come nice. on. Nice. Well, My folks. Truck is so dirty. We did it. We saved Alexander. We saved the town's water supply, and now the mayor's going to hang. There's uh, a snake in my boots. There's a snake in my anus. Uh, Ian Gibson, thank you for joining me tonight. Um, also, Alexander, thank you for joining me as well. Um, Stream Mom, thanks for being here. Zach, you were here for a little bit. I was late. Um, Alexander was late, but that's okay. Um, tomorrow, folks, I will be doing a bunch of work for Subpixel. I have a huge list of things I wrote down, but also I might possibly be streaming some of my mister tomorrow uh, i've been uh i put the zx spectrum on there and uh, i've also been installing the something i can't remember what the name of the computer is but it has windows 95 on it so honestly i was thinking of maybe having that as our windows 95 machine instead of doing computer stuff it's a little bit cleaner but uh i'm working on that it i was doing that for like four hours today and it wasn't working so i'll be working on that tomorrow and possibly streaming some of my mister so keep a lookout for that but if i don't we will be in in what will we we be be be, be what will we be streaming on thursday at 9 p.m thursday 9 p.m eastern it is episode one of subpixel inc season two folks we are taking all that money we made from selling the world's first car for gamers manufactured on mars shipped to earth to your front door and we're gonna give it back to the community that's right we're building subpixel land the world's biggest most popular bestest ever made theme park in roller coaster tycoon 2 multiplayer that's starting thursday at 9 p.m eastern i'm very excited i've been playing so this whole thing got started we had the idea but i was playing roller coaster tycoon 2 and ian messaged me and we're like oh we should totally just do something link season 2 here so i've played it a little bit since then but i have been holding back because i don't want to play the game too much and then be like well, oh you know, we do, um let's uh you know since we're trying to end the stream here let's talk about rules i think basically we <laughs> created our own map and i think we're gonna play until we hit the maximum number of guests which varies between like seven to nine thousand depending on how many rides you've built because it all takes up the same sprite limit but i do think we should impose a rule that says no pre-built coaster designs everything either has to be made in the server or you import a design that you have created outside the server i agree which means great which means you can start designing coasters right now and oh, save them true. and drop them in. Yeah. Oh, this is a good idea. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, we'll be doing that on Thursday. I'm very excited. Um, oh, it's going to be a blast. I'm very excited. Um, also, I found a uh, up and coming Dwarf Fortress multiplayer mod that uh, I want to take Ooh. a look at, which could be kind of fun. Uh, but until then, I have been your host, Will Crosby. You can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. And you can find all of our stuff by going to subpixelfilms.com. Folks, that'll send you right to our YouTube page. You can comment, subscribe, hit that little bell on the thing, whatever it does, and you will be instantly informed of everything we do. If you want to join our community Discord in any of our YouTube videos description, there is a link there, so join that, and you'll get first-rate responses from us because we're bored and we're at home uh until next time thank you for watching what are you hey, saying you can Ian? find me shed uh -oh. brother uh-oh on shed brother only fans page foot fetish and uh that's all i got for you <laughs> gosh darn it <laughs> remember folks just kill your loved ones. Hey, new to your dogs. Bye.